What's up? This is Helena from OpenArt. Today we'll look at the blend board feature. Let's see what it can do and then walk through the basics. It works for a lot of things. You can blend a person into the background, you can blend multiple characters into the same picture, you could blend objects into a photo. In this example, we put this photorealistic bird into this watercolor drawing. After blending, this bird gets the same watercolor drawing style. We first want to remove the wine glass. We'll use magic arrays. Now that it's been removed, let's add the bird picture. We just drag it and release it over the other image and boom, it's inside of the blend board. And now this bird image is a layer. So let's click, remove the object background. And now we see just a bird and let's put it in place. That seems like a reasonable size. You just go ahead and create. Blending is really helpful to find the right lighting for you. In this one, the original Elf has really sharp facial features and a high value of contrast and structure, which is not what we have in the background here. So if you just throw this Elf onto the background, it wouldn't look natural. And after blending, do you see how smooth the edges are? And even the sunlight shining on the back of the hair with every single one of them, it's all great. Think of the blend board like a canvas that guides what your final image would look like. So right now we're seeing this blank square and if we just hit create, we're going to just get blank squares. Don't hit it when it's blank though, friends. It's a waste of credits. And just like how we can set the aspect ratio on the create page, we can also do that here with the blend board by typing in the width and height or just dragging this blend board like this. All right, so now we can get really creative with this. The most important concept to learn would be image layers. So why don't we try this together? I just dragged this image into the blend board and boom, it's now inside of the canvas. And by the way, we can drag this out of the blend board. That will allow us to use all the other open or editor features. Uh, whenever we're ready, we can just throw it back. I'm thinking we use this as the background. And I also have a character. I'm going to throw her into the blend board too. We're seeing two layers. Let's look at the actions we can do. The little eye can make it visible or invisible. There is a show or hide object background. If we click on it, it helps us remove the background for this specific layer. And so now we can place this girl somewhere. Maybe somewhere right here. And we also have the drag to reorder so we can move these layers around. And now if I'm happy with the blend board, I would just go create. And that's our blend. Look at that so natural if we zoom in look at the hair it even adds all this lighting and shadow according to the lighting of the background image and real quick if you're watching this video before august 2024 there may be a trick that you need to do where um, basically you need to click show object background and then hit blend for it to give you the best results but if you're watching the video later it should be all good just like go ahead and do it like this. Let's see how the blend board really blends different styles and makes it look so natural. I'm trying to put a B onto this Monet Impressionist style oil painting. So we drag it, hide the object background, and that should just give us the B. And now let's put the B at where we want it to be. Something like right here. Is that too big? And maybe something like this and click create the results are really wonderful especially if we zoom in it has really smooth edges and if you look at the painting as a whole it doesn't look out of place whereas before we blended it it's obvious that this b did not belong here and i just put in two more b's look how impressionist Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I put all useful links under the video in the description. And don't forget to check out OpenArt. Have fun creating.